Hello, my name is Marina Shevchnikova. I am a student of Platoon number 38 of the College of Police. The subject of my final English credit is the fingerprinting of living persons. The main target of my work is to tell and show the corrections of performing fingerprinting of living persons. Fingerprints requires fingerprints forms, top quality black ink, a roller and two smooth metal or glass surfaces for rolling out the ink. Prior for fingerprinting, a handwritten fingerprint form is completed. The fingerprint form shall state the gender of the person being fingerprinted, his surname, first name, father's name, nationality, place of birth, the place of registration, if his information is missing, the relevant entry shall be made. The place on fingerprinting, the fingerprint card must be signed by the person being fingerprinted and the person who prepared the fingerprint card. Once the fingerprint card form has been completed, the following must be done before fingerprinting. Fold the fingerprint sheet along the lines of inflection in two places. Clean the surface of the fingerprinted person's hand with a tissue paper removing sweat and dirt from the surfaces on which the ink will be applied. Carefully roll out the printing ink in a very thin layer on the glass. Paint is applied to the surfaces of the fingernail phalanges in two ways. Let's look at the first of them. Apply paint to the wiggly patterns by rolling the nail phalanx over a thin layer of paint previously rolled out on glass or a sheet of paper. The color should be the entire wiggly pattern of the fingernail leaving three or four wiggly lines below the interphalangeal fold. Rolling the finger painted over its corresponding place in the fingerprint form is performed for an uncomfortable position of the hand of the finger being fingerprinted. To a comfortable position to prevent smearing of the pattern when the finger is detached from the paper surface. By applying paint to the surfaces of fingernail phalanges, fingerprint patterns are stained using the fingerprint roller. This method is used both for fingerprinted living persons or for fingerprinted identified corpses. This method visually controls the amount of dye applied to the fingerprint patterns and results in better fingerprints. Thumb prints are made by touching the pad on the nail phalanx in the appropriate places of the fingerprint card without rolling. The control prints of the remaining fingers are taken at the same time to record their presence and relative position. The palm prints are applied to the reverse side of the fingerprint card. For this purpose, paint is applied with a roller to the entire surface of the palm. When taking palm prints, the central part of the palm, where the palm cleft is located, should be pressed with the hand to ensure a better print. In the conclusion, I must say that this procedure is very essential for the investigation of a crime for entering into the deadbed of criminals. I hope the given information was useful for you. If so, push the like and single up to our channel. Thank you for your attention.